Have you ever hit a bow and thought you could use it as an instrument? There's something called singing bowls. They are widely used for music making, meditation, as well as for personal spirituality. For example, in Japan, struck bowls are used for funerals. Spitfire Audio Beat free recorded singing bowls in the hall in collaboration with Asuka Matsumiya. Today I'm showing you the three things I like about crystal bowls as well as the things I don't like with tips and tricks. Watch this video to the end and see how you would use it in your compositions. Let's get started. Spify Audio gave me a copy of Crystal Balls and I produced an ambient track. While I program it thoroughly, I found three things I like. First, the timber is unique. As I mentioned in the beginning, it has spiritual quality. Ask Mitsumiya says the essence and magic of crystal balls lies in the unique vibrations. In addition, this library is, you know, also designed for meditation or relaxation music. So it was recorded in the C major scale at 432 Hz, which is known as a healing frequency. Second, crystal balls has many articulations. First, it has six beaters. You can mix them with these sliders. It has two shorts and three longs. and six warped ambiences. In addition, it has two tuning forks. Now, let me show you my tip. You can automate the signal of each beta, thus I made a drone with morphine sounds. In this way, you can make a drone that evolves infinitely. Last but not least, warped patches are nice. The long patches are good for drones. On the other hand, I use the warped patches for ambience. There are two things you should be aware of. First, that release is long. Yes, there's something that resonates. Now, make sure to shorten the release when you program it, or, you know, it will resonate nearly forever. Or you can also bounce them. Second, it has no mic mixes. Well, realism and the flexibility may not be the purpose of this library. However, I always appreciate multiple mic mixes like close, tree, room, etc. I'm gonna break down this track in another video, but I found well, Spitfire Audio cinematic sample libraries work very well with this, the sounds of crystal balls. If you like Spitfire Audio the style, I really recommend it. I don't have any other library that has singing balls or these kind of spiritual sounds. So I think it's a must have for spiritual scores as well as relaxing music. How was it? Let me know how you would use it in your compositions. Again, I really like this library. I would use it for textures and drones. You know, it's very useful. If you want to know more about sample libraries I use, please watch this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you can dream it, you can produce it.